shit. Like, lost. We are streaming. <laughs> we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week two MHSEL. I love it when I do that to Coach Jonathan, where he's like, man, uh. So, oh, it's a good thing you know. Interesting news. Yeah. So, MySef, which I recognize is a different league from what the stream is, is having a large discussion on banning Steve or not. I mean, you're not really a true Smash League if it isn't a conversation point <laughs> at some time. I do find there there is a school in the league, though, whose players are arguing that if you have the technical skills... I read it as you walked away, yeah. and my argument... Well, let's, is, figure that, let's finish their argument. I if you have the skills to play Steve... Uh -huh you can have the skills and prowess to play any other character. That's their argument. I think it is a fair okay, argument. Try to pick up <laughs> I think it's a fair argument, but again, Steve is playing a different game than other characters, so technically some of the stuff you have to learn is different, but I know they're saying technical skill-wise and technical prowess. But at the end of the day, unless the character actually gets banned, why shouldn't you play the best option? Yeah. That's that's the thing, it, it, which isn't still the reason to ban him, I guess. But at the end of the day, I will always argue: Why shouldn't you play the best option or use the best option? If you can win all of your Smash games by sitting at ledge of Samus and charge shotting, why shouldn't you? I mean, it's not good for you technically long term because that's like super not mechanically inclined. But if your goal is to win, then why shouldn't you? Yeah, I, so I think it's kind of interesting. With the exception of Rob, <laughs> maybe Avian, was DJ Salad the Smash player? Maybe. I can't remember who the Smash player that was so good at Sanctum was. And if it's not DJ Salad and you're listening, you're probably not. We get like three viewers. We had, we had Rob? Y yeah. Uh, oh, was that the one that Raymond beat up? Ah, oh, Raymond Noodles. With the exception of Rob, Avian, and Raymond Noodles, yeah, I don't... I mean, there was a fourth. Oh, was, was there a fourth? It was the one that ran our, our gray question team. Mark. Like, the, the one that I was gaslighting. Question mark. Ooh, question mark. That was the MySef one? Yeah, that was the guy that just ran him and his other team. It was a crom. Yeah, for the uh, crew I don't battle. Know if it was question mark. I can't remember... His actual name. They ran like, over the top of us, but they didn't win. No, but he was still in the top. Like, he was doing fairly well. Yeah. He lost to, I think, a fox and or an avian or a rock. Like, he, he had a good showing as well. It, and he was playing Steve and switching off of different things. Things. So, yes, sir. You can't say anything? I don't think they've said anything. Coach Steve has. Well, I can't see the coach. No, uh, oh, is that in coach chat? Yeah, that's yeah. coach. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, keep monitoring that. So, the level we are at in this league, outside of Rob, Avian, and Ramen Noodle, I don't know if anybody in this league is going to be skilled enough to pull the shenanigans that everybody's worried about out of Steve. Outside of Mad. Now, Mad just dropped yesterday, as far as I know, because that's <laughs> yeah. the post you posted to. But the PMLG that was the big deal back in March, I don't think anybody at our level is skilled enough to I, I think use PMLG well. Well, no, it's, it's a very easy input. Like, I could do that, but... Um, it's not, it's that they either don't know about it, or it's already banned, or it's like, they're just not going to use it because it's banned in well, So why would they use it in flavors if the, it's banned in The editing? other thing is that who's to say that some team doesn't get a freshman and just starts them out on Steve, and then slowly, by who knows, maybe junior, senior year, they could just, if they're only focusing Steve, and nothing else. They have to learn that, and they don't have to worry about learning what this character does, this character does. If they learn that, if they're dedicating all of their time into that character, 
in theory, they would learn it. They could do PMLG. Yeah, because they're not focusing on anything else because they're 100%ing into one character. It's 100% focus. So even if you're talking about skill prowess, I mean, like, at our level, if you, you don't even have to use it to its most optimal level. If you just know about it, and you can instill that the other player, if the other player also knows about it, and then you instill the fact that you know how to do it, even if you don't know how to do it well, that completely changes the game. Okay, that's an interesting approach. The fact that it's there is gonna change how I approach your Steve, and whether you know how to use him or well, not. And we see it all the time though. You can be the best player in the world, play against one of the worst people in the world, and you can lose a stock because your brain is set to playing against the most optimally tuned opponent in the world, and then they didn't do what you thought. So you are pro Steve Ban. Um. All right. Um. I'm confirming up the roster, and then I want you to take over. All right, Van. Okay. Uh, hopefully. I'd say I'm on the fence with character. Yep, they're already there. Right. So overall, you're on. I would say I'm on the fence because unless a character is, is supremely unhealthy for any game, they should not be banned. I just wouldn't say I see enough of Steam absolutely dominating this game to instill a ban. I'm let alone at our level. <laughs> you need a Snickers? You need Snickers? You need Snickers? <laughs> but Dead serious, you need a Snickers? I'll take a Snickers. Do I have any peanut allergies in here? Yes, I am definitely allergic. I will go outside. Okay, it's in. We're good. Wait, what? <laughs> Steve Bands, uh, justified, but I disagree. Justified? So you want him banned? No, just, like, I do not want him banned. I disagree on banning him, but I, it's justified that people would ban him. Okay. I, I would not, like, like I'm, I'm not, like, you know, super adamant about Steve being unbanned necessarily, but I think on a base level he shouldn't be banned, and it's for multiple reasons. Like, um, like, it, I, know, I know that the main argument is that it's hard to go through all the, like, it's hard to moderate everything, and just if someone does a PMLG, mm -hmm. like, it's hard to just, like, you know, moderate it and make sure people aren't cheating. But on a base level of things, it's in people's competitive integrity that they shouldn't do that. And so besides the people that are those, like, slimy people <laughs> that are going to, like, think, oh, I'm just going to go PMOT because I'm going to get away with it. Well, if it's not every Steve doing it, um, you know, I, I think they would get caught at some point. I mean, it, it, even still, like, calling out individual gameplay is such a gray area thing, because you need someone that understands it to always catch it, which can result in people not catching it. Is this a game size? No. But overall, I say, I still remain that I'm, I'm on the fence. Yeah. But I wouldn't say Steve is inherently something that I would classify that needs to be banned in games. I classify things that need to be banned in games that are something that is entirely unhealthy for the game that doesn't allow for it to play as intended. And Steve, it's weird because Steve has that has his build mechanics, which is weird, but those were intended. So, but I, I, again, and I wouldn't say he's dominating, him. right? Like, he's not doing he wasn't what even Bayonetta did to yeah, four. He's not even, he wasn't even dominating Do before. Do you have him. this? Maybe. <laughs> Do you know how to hit the button to make sure it's going? You just need to hit yeah. that button. Yeah. If it's black, you can see. Go ahead, hit it. Whoa, whoa. Where am I? There we go. So you can see that, or you can. Oh, I guess you have to see that, don't you? It'd be pretty cool to see the game going on. Yeah. I think it's. Um, uh, it's like to finish off that thought, considering it was just starting. Mm -hmm. Wait, why is it they're falcon? 
Uh, I thought we were, it was going Lucas. Oh. Well, the, I, the yeah. idea was that they would oh. put their best player right. first, but they didn't. Well, They're I'm playing kind of against Lucas if I get him, so. Well, I'm pretty sure they pick who's next first, and then we could. Uh, All right. Um, I was, was going to finish off with was like. The people leave out personal bias, and, you know, Steve is such a loser character, and, like, you know, I hate this character, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And just, and even, even take out the people that are also, like, take out, like, the things where people are just, like, get better at the matchup, which is true, but, you know, still also bias. Um, I mean, I think, I think I just, like, on that, like, base level where it's none of that is included it's like like you said it's not not really bandwidth it's it's just he's not so hyper present and he and every time someone's played steve it's not that they've always won even a coli has not won i think yesterday no, he's lost literally i think today i he's saw lost something to dr mario and stuff he's lost to a he lost to a bayonetta in his most recent yeah. setting and bayonetta is not that crazy in this game yeah. i'll do it that guy. So anyways, into the match, we have advantage currently. Oh, Benton gets his get back. Welcome I, back. Alright, so it's, it's not, not looking that bad for Captain Falcon, but... No, he just read Mega Man not going to ledge mm -hmm. forward smash, so end of that stock. But even still, I think... I think Chin's fine right now. Yeah. Uh, I'd say he's still pretty in control of this game. He's keeping neutral. Yeah. That guy just did that, so you know. Yeah. That was risky. Yeah. I get it. I've done that thing. Count this exact SP recovery. Um. So I'm down like Andor, so um, I get it. You have to do it a particular way, or you bounce off this too, which is really awesome. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, at our level, I definitely don't think Steve needs to be banned. Mm -hmm. We don't see any crazy Steves, and even still, even if they're good players and they're not doing anything that is inherently bad, that's I literally one of those, learn your, learn the matchup better. Uh, I just don't, I just don't see a reason to ban the guy right now. Uh, there's so many characters in this game, it can allow for some characters that are never thought of to be good. Now, is he a type of character that has those moves that can invalidate some characters? Absolutely. But, since this isn't a change of game anymore, a change of meta, that was a nice spike. Uh, we're in a, we're in a solid state of the game because there's no new content or anything so the game has to actively ev evolve on its own and if that requires to steve for steve to stay around people to learn new text about this character thus allowing other characters a chance to be pushed forward to deal with them i'm all for it because that's how you keep these games that are not getting updates anymore alive they have to update on their own so i would say take melee yeah, although Melee has have the seen, problem now. Have you seen those tier lists on Melee where all the characters move up and down and up and down? Yeah, because that game is so heavily optimized at this point. It's literally... The problem with that one, though, is that it's stagnant in terms of player base. Uh -huh. We can still get new players very easily with this game. Melee is not a game that gets new mm -hmm. players anymore. It is the same group of 20, 30 people that are constantly evolving their game to get one-ups on each other. Which is still cool to witness. Watching games evolve over time with metas is always something that I think is just a fascinating thing to witness. It, I mean, a lot of people say, a lot of Melee players say they don't think it will die, but um, it, I, I think it's inevitable because... It's just gonna be like, they're all gonna retire, and then who's gonna carry the torch? Yeah, I mean, that's just something that'll happen with a game that gets nothing, though. I think that you can say that, 
And sure, there'll be a casual base always, but like a purely competitive base. Every game has a lifespan. This is a conversation I have with several people. Games just have lifespans, and if they don't have lifespans, they have cycles. So like live service games that you can see going on forever, air quotes, uh, they have life cycles. You know, at the, at the end of the season they drop, at the start of the season they increase, in the middle they're stagnant. But at, by the end of a season cycle, it's it's uh, all about cycles and managing them per, like properly. A game, like people always say live service games, this game's dying. No. Because of how they interact with other games, like Apex is dying. Well, no. It's been through, it's like three fourths of the way through its season. Overwatch and Fortnite just got a new season, so they're going to lose their player base. It's just a natural cycle. Where we deal with games, because of Nintendo and how they do things, uh, these games are life cycle games, right? This game will eventually be replaced if Sakurai does make another game. There are or things that he said that make it seem like he lived. Yeah, or this game will just become a melee-esque thing, where it is slowly will die down. And that's just how this is how Nintendo runs their products, right? This is not gonna. I don't think Smash is the equivalent of Mortal Kombat or like Call of Although Duty. I think if Evo still had um, Evo and Frostbite, well, but more Evo though still existed, especially for Melee, I think there would still be new players coming in. Yeah, I think Nintendo Evo was definitely, like, you know, yeah. really big for Melee, and then that ended, you know, after that. Yeah, I mean, it, that also Overrack hurts, Overrack. hurts our game in particular, because Nintendo does not do a good job keeping <laughs> game so high. I love that. I love when that move kills. The move is funny to kill because it gives you a false hope almost because it's a delayed win box. Yeah. So you'll get hit by him like, oh, I'm fine. And then yeah. you just send and straight then, up. And then, and then uh, Captain Falcon's just like yelling off into the distance. Yeah, I think that's one of the funnier um, Star Kale. Like, Star Kales are just funnier than just blast zones because they're, they, 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 again, instill maybe some false hope because you don't immediately just poof out of existence. Yeah. And then suddenly you would just hear, <laughs> hear, no, or something uh, like that. You or, know, or, pit. Pit. Yeah. or pits, I didn't learn how to read, and then it just disappeared. <laughs> I thought it was, oh yeah, yeah, that's it. I thought it was something else. Oh, there's a stop. Oh, there's a stop. I mean, it's just two stack. Solid two stack. Is that the end? I think Penguin has one of the funniest jabs because it's. I wouldn't even say it's a jab. It's just lemons. It's just shooting lemons, and it does almost nothing. Yeah, but it's it, the the um. When, you know what it does like to like disrupt the. the like, yeah, the I mean, and that's really irritating. It's the smallest things, you know, that can be irritating. Shield breaking, yeah, but like, you hit me with a lemon and I'm gonna rage out because you interrupted my hair. And well, yeah, I was doing a cool ladder and you just hit one lemon and you just messed up my flow. <laughs> Meanwhile, no? what's going on over, over there with Gray? What do you got? Nothing yet. <laughs> he just tried up being the Captain Falcon and then he got lemon. I bet you it's either gonna be down smash, up smash, or up air. And for the finish? Yeah. I don't know, I always like seeing up tilt with this character. Uh, I think it's a satisfying up tilt just like snakes. Mm, it's super strong. But I could have technically been one. Ooh. I think he wants something. Fishing? We're fishing right now? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, well, oh, oh, that just oh. kills. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And that's end of game one. <laughs> Set one? Set one, yeah. Yeah, I gotta get in there now. I mean, that's up to you and I, man. Uh, take the Lucas. Big win! Don't know, what's, win. don't know what's going on over there. Something All right, so... Is that game one? Is that game Sat one? Sat one. Sat one. So now we're into whatever is next with the next yeah. player. Oh, wow. Oh, so we just dominated, dominated? I mean, they weren't three O's, but he kept the lead the entire yeah. game, yeah, I would sure. say. All right. I see how that Snickers hit. 
All right. You're not yourself until you have a Snickers. That's right. Great team. How we doing? Uh, There's just nothing. We asked, they said at 401, Yep. Do you know the names of the players? The names of the players. Because I'm fighting the board. I can check. I can check. Yeah, that's Lucas. That's the Lucas. So they opened with who? Captain. They opened with the Captain Falcon. I think they're going for a strong start. I don't so they're going 2 1 3? Yeah, probably. A 2 1 3 or a 1 2 3? Well, that's all right. We have one, one, one. <laughs> right, Red? Right, Red? We roll one, one, one. That's our roster. What's up, Bubbles? Long. Fair amount of times. Yeah, we're probably hitting five tonight. Yeah. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to go to five. Oh, look, they went Lucas. Color us surprised. Yeah, in a bit. So we're still waiting on Gray Team to make the arena. I'm doing the same thing with my set. Incineroar. Oh, that's their starting. All right. Always playing polite, asking uh, asking the other team for Ragali if they miss sending me the code. Why are there so many it's a popular name, I guess. Is it Christopher? Is it Chris? Is it Chris with a K? You no, know, I don't think I've ever seen a Christopher with a K, but I bet that exists somewhere. Uh, my good friend Christopher Pollock is a K R I S. Polish. Polish. Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. Mm. Probably Polish Jew. I mean, like, whenever you see K's, W's, X's, and Z's, there's probably Polish in there. Yeah. It's, their, it's their favorite letters, I swear. Okay, so it looks like I am going to go update the Rocket League team. Uh, and we're on small battlefield. Oh. Don't forget to hit the button so we can see. That, that just means that, you know, that just means Lucas dies at like 40, though, right? <laughs> Boom! Here we go! Mm. We have the Wii Fit music playing. Now, the question is is this guy patient enough on his Lucas to deal with Ganon? That's Ooh, I, you know, I like when in one interaction. Yeah, the heavies just be like, yeah. You know, when you really think about it, maybe that's why heavy should be top tier. You know, like, who cares if Sheik can combo you for two minutes and, and get you to 60? Ganondorf can hit you two times and get you to 60. Yeah, but if you're a Sheik and play patiently, Ganondorf never gets you. It's true. <laughs> You know, I'm, I am seeing... It's so, the Lucas is playing patiently, but I don't think he knows how to get in. Oh, look, it's PK Fire. Yeah, but it's not like the meme PK Fire. It's the push-away PK Fire. Man, that leash. It seems like such a better recovery. Oh, love the follow-up. The, the, just the roll reads. Love to see him. You know, this is two weeks in a row we get to see the Ganondorf come back into that play. I mean, you know, it's a... The Demon King comes again. I like it. You know, it's it's symbolism of Tears of the Kingdom. We get to witness a King's revival. Ooh, we're not going to be able to get any damage off, though. Honestly, I think he saved him there. He might have. If he didn't hit that thunder. We don't seem to be able to get back up on stage, though. 129. Now, granted, being a Ganondorf 
Heavy. Heavy, super heavy, lives. But can he, oh, can't dodge that. That move is a brutal, unless you have good air mobility and a good uppy, that move is a brutal ledge guard. It is. So we're going to have to be careful on our recoveries. I think it's just a purely keeping momentum type of matchup, you know? Lupus. Lup, lupus. lupus. Lup. Well, some some people think he's a little bit irritating and inflammatory, but L Lucas, just like Ness, people do not like to play against because they are annoying characters. But he is more combo based and has a, I would say, more consistently laggy moves. That was a great tech there. Because mm -hmm. um, like those aerials are great, but they are long and laggy if he misses. It it feels like the Lucas is adapted really well. Now, can he keep that adaptation up? Because it just takes one slip. It just, it's all about momentum in this type of matchup, I would say. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if that was on purpose, though. It would be pretty if it was, but there's a really good chance it was accidental, too. Oh, oh I hate to see forward. it. We just need to find that that way in. Yeah, and get find the, that opening. Get that momentum going. He is using that neutral air spaced well. Oh, he's using he's using Zare. Don't get to see that too often. No. So I'm I'm betting that that our estimation was correct in that their Lucas is their best player. I would say so, uh, unless that inkling is just sandbagging his first game of the season. Uh, I would say that this is better game knowledge than what the Captain Falcon is doing. All right. I need to go check in on Riley. I will do that. All right. Really? We're keeping it close, but that 120 lead. Ooh, lag spike. All right. We're at 84, but it's not out of the game yet. You know, Ganondorf's got that weight. You know... Ooh, we, I may have spoken too soon. End of game one. Uh-huh. Mm. So it's, uh, what's your game plan? Um, don't get cheesed. Well, unfortunately, that character can be cheesed easily. Honestly, <laughs> They're both cheesers. Mm, that's true. And that's and that's the only character that I've fought competitively. I don't want that. So, would you say you're still most comfortable as Ganondorf in it? Well, I wouldn't say that his PK magnet is as good as Ness's because he has to place it in front of him, not directly on top. Switch up here. Yeah, just just take that second, lock it in, you know? Okay. 
You got you got this, Crow. Just keep it rolling. Yes. Keep it rolling. Don't let him mess you up. Yeah, but you have the Snickers. You're the Snickers flowing through your veins. Oh, God, that's true. You got the pro you got the protein, you got the nougat, you got the caramel, uh, you got it all going. <laughs> we don't talk about those parts. Mm. No, I mean, see both players just trying to poke, trying to get it in and figure it out. We get a little grab from the Lucas. All right, good jab combo. I'm trying to pressure in. Ooh, good C4 placement. All right, gets him with the grab on the get up. Keep the pressure going. You know, Luke is just trying to figure out a good way to start his combos, but Snake's just not having it. Ooh, and just wedge trapped Alpha stayed. Nice end to a first stock. Ooh, we see just perfect pressuring, good timing. Ooh, just complete control of the situation. Spacing perfectly, just reading his opponent. Ooh, he gets a foot stool, gets the grab again, throws off stage. Setting up. Ooh. Good. Even, even there, he just gets a good exchange. Ooh, and end to a second, you know. The pressure just keep laying it down. Just a beautiful pressure and engagement, you know. Alright, forward dash attack. Alright, holding ledge. Dash attack again. That dash attack is just great, you know. In those first invulnerability frames at the front. Ooh, and we see the first PS magnet to absorb. Luke is just completely changing it up. Mm. Playing way more patiently. Really going for that 3 0. Spacing between these two is just crazy. I commend it from both players here. The patience being played from Kama is impeccable. Lucas though is just really trying to get yeah, that one hit in because like none of his base moves are just gonna do enough to get Snake get Snake off of the stage. Lucas just trying to keep stage presence just to not let Snake do anything. Welcome back. All right. We have a Snake. We have a switch to Snake, and he's been in control the entire match. Just lost his first stock, but Lucas, I think, is starting to dial it in. Dial it in. Dial it in because he's starting to play way more patiently. But Lucas, besides his like big hitters, cannot kill Snake easily is the biggest problem. But he's spacing, and that's the end of that, it. There we go. I mean, going into it, it was concern for Chrome that he was just going to use PS Magnet just to heal off of the explosions. And he did it twice and set back the that last stock. But really, I think it beyond those two engagements. I think it's working out spectacularly. It was beautiful. Okay, um, there's a question on whether we're actually streaming or not. Oh. 
Let me uh, let me look. We are D C H S. Everything that I'm looking at says we are streaming. As everything that says to stop streaming. Hey, um, yeah, I think we are. Nobody's watching. No, no, I think it just registered you as watching. Yeah, it registered me as watching. That's good. And how's everything let's, let's going go everywhere a, else? Let's go with a share. Can I share? No. Uh, oh, there we go. You can share. Share. Uh, we're going to share to Discord. We're going to put it in the hallway. So we'll do it at, at everyone. <laughs> And uh, how's Rocket League going? Uh, the other team hasn't sent us a code yet. Ah. So is it, does it normally run 2v2? No, that's a little bit of a new thing this year, is the 2v2. I see. And why do you think they made that change? Uh, trying to compete. Where can we, what service can we provide the other leagues aren't? I see. Then wouldn't they want to run 2v2 and the 4v4? So they 4v4. So 2v2 is the next competitive version of Rocket League. Okay. All right, All right. Here we go. Speaking of which, I need to be checking that channel. <laughs> Sir! I'm going to camp these platforms so hard. <laughs> you got this. You Sam would be proud. Ooh, we got something coming in from Lincoln. Oh, and we just see the Lucas enter the match saying, I'll win this time. No, I love some smack talking. That's always fun. Are you the king of smack talk in your circle? No, no. I just rage and scream at people. Mm. It's a healthy thing I do. I mean, it's better than keeping it in, you know? <laughs> at least you're releasing that negative energy out. Oh, it looks like the Lucas has come up with a strategy, though. Well, it could be this stage difference, because now these two platforms on the side, I'd say, would pretty heavily the placement of his PK Thunder and Freeze. All yeah. right, let me go talk to Rocket League. They just forfeited. All right. Quick into the first attack, but we see Snake starting it off strong. Just trying to get in there. Mm. Really though, Snake's having a hard time figuring out how he wants to get in there. Those platforms are really not working to his benefit. Alright, caught the roll. That's good. Great end right there with an up tilt. right into a dash attack already up to a 41 percent Ooh, Lucas com combos with it there ooh, ooh. caught with a PK freeze this game I will say is going way faster than the previous one Just keep using the PK freeze, but Snake is just not having it. Ooh! Shield and caught him with an up smash. That's a huge percentage taken. Alright, caught with the grab. Down on stage. Setting up on stage. Ooh, caught with a forward. Lucas just trying to get those percentages. Snake getting the stage fast enough, not letting it happen. Kalos is just really roughing up the strategy of like legend guarding properly and keeping, honestly, keeping in Lucas's favor. 
Ooh, I was an up two. Ooh. Oh, such a ridiculous seed. That's yeah. why I don't like doing that. Yeah, I Close game, but you know, that's the end of it. Oh, I'll let you do this. Honestly, I'm not even gonna count anything that happens today because I was seriously cannot just. I mean, realistically though, you had a really good. I mean, you had some great combo strings in those games, though. Uh, you're against an inkling. Uh, uh, if you choke, you're banned. God. There you go. You should have all. You should have all the experience necessary to deal with an inkling. The past three days, I've gotten like four hours of sleep every day. And why is that? <laughs> I may or may not have had this quarter's alarm occurred, so I may or may not be catching up on it. Mm. And it's just, I'm not, like, it's not like I'm trying to just skip out and I'm not, like, I'm not the kind of person that does that. I'm just it's a lot of confusing things and I'm just never getting it done. So I'm going to say it's like 2 a.m. I'm going to Eight? So I don't have the mental faculties. The mental, mental faculties. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I, I do say well played the uh, non Lucas part, and I'm not mm -hmm. going to be tilted over it, and I'm not tilted. Mm -hmm. I don't really get tilted when he comes as often. Mm -hmm. like, oh, it was a good show. Okay. Explain. Hey, I, think, I think I'm just saying that if it was more sleep with a better day, then y'all would have taken it. But, yeah. It happens. It happens. <laughs> Keeping that positive attitude is good. Positive attitude. Oh, I just wrote an essay on the overwhelming power of positivity. Because <laughs> I really, I really need positivity. How's it going over on Gray? Yeah. Can you do? No. Oh, hello there, Streamland people. Yeah. So how are they doing? I see. Uh, uh, we're 1-1. 1-1, one, one. One, one, okay. 1-1. One, one. So no matter what, that means this is a game true three. best of five. Uh, going to game four inevitably. Because uh, I have confidence in Art Van. You know, he, I should, do, yeah. he, he should definitely have this. He has experience against wow. the character that we're expecting. And we expect? Can we say? We're expecting wait. them to go Inkling. Ink? Okay. As that is the only character. Never mind, you know. Okay, we are way we, we don't have to have any expectations. Yeah. They are going for something different. Uh, Surprise us. That is truly surprising, but I guess it is with only one week of data that we have that last week they played Inkling. I mean, isn't it a pretty similar skill set you need for those two characters? Or um, close enough? Inkling is way faster than Wolf, and Wolf kills way easier than Inkling does. Inkling wants to stay almost entirely in the air and then slowly set up combos to eventually kill with probably back air. Or if he's lucky, he can set up uh, some smash attacks. But generally, Wolf can just throw out moves. Like he's, he's, a, he's what they could say you could be going online and fighting ghosts with. You could just be spamming forward and back airs, neutral airs. And online, you could probably get somewhere with that. I just realized Artvan has not been touched yet. No, I mean, <laughs> in the end, if it's still a dominating matchup, I don't, like, if I had to say from what I'm seeing, this is probably the character, the person with the least... Experience? Probably, or at least fundamental skill. 
right? The character that we just got off of with Lucas, he was very in tune with his character, showed a lot of patience. Um, How did the Lucas go? So he won first Again, and Callum, or Chrome. Chrome. And then he Chrome started with Ganondorf, and he switched to Snake in the second game and took it. But then they went to Kalos, and he didn't, and he SD the first stock. Lucas oh, did or Chrome? Chrome. And I would say that Kalos is a bit of a more interesting pick. More advantageous for Lucas, because Lucas's entire game plan there is keeping Snake away and using PK freeze and fire at those ledges where Snake. Uh, we're on game three, and it's not an inkling, it's a wolf. So our prediction was wrong. What's that? Our van almost went an entire stock. I, I do want the Lucas again. No. You want the Lucas again? Yes. My thing is that I, I think You're what really screen. did it in for you at the last game was probably that map. I would say that's a yeah true, but I would also say it, oh they're in here. Lucas on those yeah. platforms I put the link is on. way harder. It's way easier for him to camp you on those platforms than for you to camp him because those platforms deny your up smash or the right or honestly you could also give me that the falcon so what so he got game three it wasn't a sweep though you know it was still it was still a close game yeah I asked him that at seven at like when they were at seven times so I have a feeling that wolf might have been like a feeler type pick instead of going right into Inkling. Just because... I mean, but he's getting... Like, this is pretty similar to the first game with Cheem and the Falcon, right? Like, they're showing something on their part, but, like, it's not a debate that our team has the advantage in this state. Like, they... Like, What's we're controlling this match. Right we have two, they have one. Okay. But with the entire first stock yeah. getting hit. Yeah, the first stock, he had 0% for a huge chunk of it. I mean... So do we see things out of the wolf? Is he playing... Oh, well, he got the grab off. He's playing somewhat aggressively, but I would say his timing for a lot of things is kind of off. Oh, there it is. You can definitely tell that it's a newer wolf or a newer person to smash. I was well, just... just, just... <laughs> But yeah, I would definitely say our inclination was correct. I would definitely say Lucas, Captain Falcon, and then this wolf. Maybe they're crazy on incline. Let's go! I don't know. Let's go! Let's they do it! They might be switching yeah. out here. We'll see. Oh uh, yeah, we'll see. You know, on a side, on a side topic of uh, Nintendo's great mechanical engineering of Joy-Cons, I find it always entertaining to just go to your Switch and just open it up, go to settings, and just go to controller settings and like get your stick enabled and just watch it go. Just see what happens, you know, experiment. Like, what, look at how little that moves when I flick it. Yeah, that's, that's, some, that's some great, great engineering. Yep. <laughs> On the topic of uh, controllers, I have discovered now with my Xbox Well, it doesn't controller. drift. I have well, drift on my Xbox. It can count as drift if you see it just stay there for a second, because then that means oh, it's it gonna... rolls back. So yeah. No, it just missed that. It, it's eating flicks. Yeah, it's it's really gross. And then what will happen is since I will hold it to like move it like if I'm doing an RPG, I have yeah. to scroll across oh, the map. That's... I have to scroll across the map, so then I'll let go of the stick, but it's still holding that side. So it's gonna just push the camera all the way into the wall. Uh, we're gonna let him see the map picks. What do you? So what happened on Greg? What are we doing? Oh. Is there any change in character? Do we know? Unfortunately, the mind games are. Okay. Uh, from the looks of it, no. Okay. So basically, first round the center. He knew. He didn't really know. He knew how. Basic how. All right, man. Get ready to go. What? I want to switch over. Whatever. I'll let, I'll let him. i let him go. I, I don't know what he changed. He's small battlefield. I don't. I don't know what he changed his profile pic to. Uh, Matt? Yeah, I don't. Or Art Band, sorry? Yeah, I don't. I'll have questions for him later. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. But the Stain Wolf. Oh, Stain Wolf. I'm her. 
Not on the Brawler same stage, not a but... Bad choice. All right, here we go. Well, Esam will die on the hill of Brawler. Uh, so, uh, Varus just did an interesting thing on Brawler. Really? Yeah. How is, uh, what are you guys, red or gray? Gray, how are you guys doing? I also heard, uh, Avery blame me for, lo for her losing her stock. Why is that? Because I was like, how's it going? And I'm like, not right now, and then... <laughs> I guess she got hit after that. Um, Sounds like a skill issue over there. You skill. know, it, Avery is just cursed by her coaches. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, corn. Or corn. 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 I was already seeing the. Is that corn. a stock? Is that a stock? No. no, no that no, is. is. Speak it into existence. You know, if you say it enough times, it'll happen. Yeah. I think there's an actual word for that. I don't know. Oh, you know what? We have an interesting situation now. Oh? As Art Van locks down this match, we have to declare game four first. I imagine, but I imagine though they, they'll still try and lead Lucas though. They want to get that, because if they don't win that, then it's done. Yep. I think they're still gonna lead Lucas no matter what. So who do, I, we, who do we put in? After seeing that's a Lucas. that's a that's a com, that's a meeting a conversation because I think oh, they're we're up at 125. I think their Falcon's good, but I don't think Falcon is good enough for them to instill all of their hopes and prayers on. Woo! I'd say he's better than this guy. I will say this team does really? seem to have a really good job of denying the return to stage. They cover the options well. Well, I will say, Lucas has a very easy time of doing that. That's press, fair, he but just this presses Wolf B just covered a lot of options. Oh, well, you I, know what? I, I jinxed him. I appreciate it when the broadcaster curse works in our favor. I, like I said, I would say this guy just doesn't have the mechanical skill as like the Lucas, but I would say he has. <laughs> I would say he has a, a good understanding of his good character. Oh! Stop fishing for it. Hey man, we're, we're only Charizard at 198%, you know. <laughs> and you're only Charizard at 198 so often. You know, I know, and you know, you're gonna die in a one oh. move. You know what, he is showing this wolf that he too can play that you don't get to touch my stage. I mean, why shouldn't you flare this? Cause like, when you're at 298, what won't kill you anyway? Oh! Just purely... Let's go! We've had some really good moments. We've had some really nice moments of pure momentum out of all of our players today. Hit the starting. All right. So that, that leads us to the question. We have to declare our fighter first. I believe they're going to put Lucas in. I don't see a world where they don't put Lucas in first. Because I don't think the other two players are quite... Josh. They didn't have a strong enough showing to just shoulder all of your hopes on it. Because if you don't go your strongest here and you lose, you're done. So it has to be Lucas. I think they have to put Lucas here. The question is... I, I would play him again, but from a team perspective, considering I lost, you should throw someone else. All right. Having seen him play before, who on the team do you think? As let's, bring the, let's bring the team in. I think. Do we mute here? Yeah, hit the mute button. Hey, we'll be right back. I'm fine to
Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, team meeting. captain, our band. Log it in. I'd say we've had a great string. Like, even in the matches where we didn't win immediately, we've had some really nice momentum moments. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna trademark that momentum moments. We are DC Falcons <laughs> momentum moments. That's what we can put as a hashtag on oh, the Twitter. The momentum <laughs> moments. I vote no more Kalahari. It should also be on the Twitter. <laughs> That's at the end of the season. That's at the true, end of the season. Yeah. That's the end of season quote. But momentum moments, those big, nice moments of just having complete control of the game. So when we were last stock, Wolf, yeah. and Art Van just continued to juggle that Wolf, and he yeah. couldn't make it back to stage. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag momentum, momentum moments. moments. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing next, whenever the next time I do clips. Are. <laughs> clips yeah. I don't know why. Uh, what? That's like the number one option. Like Wolf he has tried so to do many. What? You used to from Black there when I hit the up air. <laughs> if he did like forward air, I think he would have beat. Me. What do you mean? Like Wolf is such a limited man, character. He, he doesn't have any options, man. <laughs> He's such a limited character. He has no. He has no really good landing options. He's got no really like fast good. aerials. Like nah, you know, it's just so slow. Like they're, they're putting in their falcon. They're what? Their falcon? Yeah. Okay. I guess Didn't he wants you the just rematch. whoop that falcon? I guess they want the rematch. Okay. That's one way to do it, I guess. Oh. I think they're looking at something over here. You know, we, we don't know what's going on there. Ed, you know, they could want the grudge match. The Lucas could have disappeared. He could have even oh, gone oh, home. Yeah, we got people talking. I forgot to bring up the chat. Yeah, dog goody too. Let's go. No, it's very I'm wow. not sure who uh, Banishing Betas is. <laughs> oh, that's Romeo Jesse. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Romeo. Let's go. No. After just, last year, we don't talk about it. The, but the, the name Banishing oh, Betas. Oh, yeah. We've also had a alumni in chat. Oh, good, good fellow. fellow. The bread man. Jinx, you yeah. Yeah. Alright, don't make me log in. We uh we have Mr. Chrome <laughs> running a very, very nice thing. Oh, we also Good follow had, be proud. We also had Fallen in the chat. So now in chat we have two alliterations. Where's Jake though? Matt Mooney and uh Mr. Vanishing Betas. Yeah. Was that? Was that the, is that the snake? Yeah, that is the snake you I, I want to um, I wanna challenge you <laughs> to a best of five snake dittos. <laughs> All right. I All think right. I'm competitive. All right. I'm we can do it for LAM. extra life. LAM. LAM. Oh, I'm so down, yeah. Oh, wait. Would he be able to come in? Good. It's extra life. All right. Here we go. Mega Man opening it up. Is this how this first Captain Falcon match went? I'm, I would say that this was a this is a more dominating lead that, uh, that Gene here is opening up with. Uh, I like dominating. Oh. He f fell through. The hurricane. <laughs> uh, he also died in the first game to hurricane. Like he got carried uh -huh. off. So, you know, it's just another thing he has to approach properly. And honestly, though, I'm just not seeing any difference from the first, the first one. Is that all he plan lives? Was. I don't see what their plan was with uh, Captain Falcon. Oh, we're paying attention. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. First stop goes Captain Falcon. You know, he, he... I say this is still clearly that where the Falcon wants to show what he's worth. You know, he, he wants he's that second shot there. of glory. Oh. Yeah, he wants that second shot. All right, so we take it with 36 left. Ended at 136, though. Yeah, 36% can be taken care of in one string, though. That might be a bit harder to come back from that. No, caught him. Alright. Send him to soccer rat. Just <laughs> send him to soccer rat. We're getting all the alliterations. Yeah, we're getting caught with those, uh... The uh, command grab out of Captain Falcon there, aerial style. This ca this Captain Falcon loves the downbeat in the air, where he just like stops his way back to the ground. Like you, a lot of care a lot of players who have characters with that hyper aggressive downbeat or down air really love to use it. He was Kazuya or um, what was it, Sephiroth? 
<laughs> Every time I min means really so many people have just spam down in yeah. I mean, it's not always the worst option, but it's very Ooh, easily. Caught out. Ooh. This constant exchanging exchange. I think it's. That's side B, right? That was up B. Up B is the grab? That one, yeah, that one was up B. Oh. Oh, and he's been gimped. By a... Ooh, we'll take a gimp. You know, I'm just saying, imagine having fire powers and being gimped by a leaf. <laughs> well, it's a green leaf. It's wet. Have you ever tried to start a wet fire? I mean, yeah, but when yeah. you can manifest flames from your fists, does, does you, do you really care? Dude, these are a robot manifesting metal blades and green leaves. But, like... But he's the mega man. <laughs> he's the million man. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mooney, we are paying to change the chat now. We forgot to open the dock. It's been about five minutes since we do? put that in there. We didn't. Well, I'm barely paying attention. I can't read. I can't see the screen. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, good old Ant. Ant with the glasses. Let's see if that works. Oh, my God, you're blind. <laughs> you're trying to eat. No, no, we're good. Oh, come on, man. Are we good? Matt, or Arvian is legitimately blind, so. All right, ooh. I'm not like Nick. I mean. You have, you have hexi glass. For you're I'm two away from being I mean, blind. I mean, you, you have three options of glasses. We, I, could, I, we, could, run it down, we could run it down the list. I, I, could, I could go get my own. Really I just refuse to wear them. Ooh, charging up that smash. That was an interesting thing for him to dig for. Trying to pull the gimp again. Chef cheese. Oh, we got to be a little careful, though. I believe I believe in Chef Cheem too. He likes to cook. Wonder what he thinks he's Remy. Ooh, doesn't get the strong hit. Great game one. Let's see what he offers. Not enough though. Ooh, just barely out of range of the hard knuckle. It's pretty even. Isn't it? What is it? It's all wrong. Oh. He where I can't tell who did what. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, don't you like those suspense? The suspense for like the second before you. No. No. <laughs> no. No. I like some Sun Tzu stuff. I want to walk in, steamroll you, walk out. You're, I want the illusion of a good match without actually. Ever you're a man of here. simple taste. You like your pure gameplay with no RNG. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you like you like the you like no suspense. You want it the straightforward. Special. <laughs> no, that was forward smash. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm simple man. Simple man. I like my spaghetti to have more meat than sauce. I like it slightly zesty with the Italian. No. no. <laughs> I, and I like my opponents barely breathing. <laughs> Never put zesty and Italian in the same sentence ever again. And don't look at any yeah, I feel attacked. I feel attacked. I mean, I'm not sure how you got in the building. Uh, with his feet? I mean, if you had the choice between a t Italian dressing or zesty Italian dressing, which one are you going to choose? Take zesty Italian. I mean, exactly. I mean, you need those adjectives. Those are what sell. I vote neither. Uh, salad is too healthy. <laughs> <laughs> we can throw some uh, zesty pepperoni on there. <laughs> zesty pepperoni. <laughs> the morning pepperoni. Do you keep Here we go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Coming off the top ropes. Mm -hmm. Slay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clipping Sorry, that. bro. Bro. <laughs> I mean, realistically, if you like bland tastes... I don't think I, I can say I like uh, Thai food and say I have bland tastes. No, I mean, you need to have some spice. You need to have flavors. You know, Salt awesome? and pepper isn't all that. I had breakfast in Thailand once. Yeah. Even breakfast is spicy. Really? Yeah. Really good. What did they, <laughs> what was it? Uh, there was a lot of uh, hard boiled eggs and noodles and other vegetables. It was probably the healthiest Ooh. meal I had, had at that age. Ooh. Oh, oh that's us who switched into Mark. Oh. Yeah. You see the insult. <laughs> Interesting pick there. Why do you think he switched into the uh, Mega Man? Um, I would say that in terms, fisticuff characters don't really care for sorties. 
That's fair. Um, and he's still t playing pretty ranged, so it's not like he's super distanced from like the general play style. Ooh. He loves that kick. I mean, it's a fast move. It hits hard. Ooh. Ooh. Matt, poke? It's, or our band, it's because poke? of the season change. Poke? Poke? Really? They're not going to have any more? It's spring and summer thing. You know this. Marth, the king of poke. Yeah? If you're not poking as Marth, you're not playing Marth. The problem is at 120, we need Marth to uh, stop poking and start ending. Ooh. Ooh. Got the sweet spot there. Uh, make it back. We'll take it. Got to make up that 62 damage, though. And make it up smartly. We cannot give. This Falcon is good enough. We can't give him any breathing room. That's true. You need to press them a bit better. If you aren't pressing your buttons forcefully, are you truly playing well? Oh! Not. Oh! oh. oh. That's how you do it. How are we doing, Avery? Ooh, not quite punished. She Ooh. smiling gives us a thumbs up. We like it. So, you know what? I do like that. Get a little head game. After Falcon got that first stock, being able to take his second stock that fast is a nice head game. Well, at the same time, since Sheem is staying so spaced out and like floating through the air, he's not getting caught by the uppies that this guy is just constantly throwing out. I don't think he's hit a single one this match. Oh, two of them. Does he think that's flare blue? There it is! And a quick end. No, they have to throw it. Not if you drown. It's not healthy if you drowned in Zesty Italian. That is very true. Yeah, but so it's where, greenery. Where are all my demons? So, Hoggies. Where did all the ACMI go? Uh, there's one right here. Yeah, but we're missing a bunch of the red ones. Still with us? <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Can you throw GG's in the chat for him? We did. I did. I'm from the coaches. We're enthusiastic. We do all caps here. GG no re. We don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the last one? Uh, GG no re. No re. No. Oh. <laughs> because ideally, since we beat him once, we can beat him again. Yeah, so yeah. we okay, might want to re. This is. You know, there'll be an interesting one to watch as we move from collegiate or from regular season play into the playoffs. If they hard grind, they have a lot of talent there. Yeah, they, they have a good they have oh, good benchmark the starts. Yes. Oh, is that a win for us? Yep. No, they won't. I have been like half attention. Okay. I still find it very interesting that they didn't go Lucas though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there has to be something that we're missing. Maybe he went that home. Lucas really didn't feel like he could beat a Mega Man. Like either he went home he or a, go home. yeah, like go home or maybe that Captain Falcon played like the seniority card. Mom we don't know. Yeah. Mom said nuggies were done. <laughs> hey Avery, the computer that you use to record, can you put it on my desk? Anyways, I think it's time to end stream. I think it's time to end the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Say good night, Lucy. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming by. And uh, see, yeah, see you next week. Bye, Mr. Moon. And we're gonna keep the keep the train rolling. Yeah, that's right. Make sure you come on back here. Gas money isn't that expensive when it's on the internet. Mr. <laughs> Mooney. Oh, we do miss you, Mr. Mooney. We do. It doesn't feel the same without you. Yeah. All right. Have a great night. All right. Are you I'm not enough. Is that what you're saying? You I'm said it yourself. I'm, it feels. I'm, it's, 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 if I say it, it's okay. We're gonna.